Hello there YouTube and welcome back. It is your boy Cousin Feral Ferret, the man with the spider leg hair. Feel it. I need it redone. It's so messy, more messy than I want it to be. But you know. So first of all I'd like to apologise for not having a video out on Friday. Reason being is nothing had changed. I had all online had sold out of what I wanted and there was Nothing. I, I was stuck at work seven days straight, so I couldn't get out. So, I am going to do a video. I got a load of new um, teas in recently, but I'm not going to do a video unboxing them or showing them off because they got in, they got rehoused all on the same day. What I'm going to do is actually give you a collection tour. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you will actually see the best of my abilities. Every invert animal creature that I own. So, before we get started, I just want you to know this I meant to do starting the year. But before C's, why not? Um, let's see if we can't get a counter going. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to it. And first up, we have Caribbean of Versicola. It's only a little one, bigger than the other one. But uh, the reason why it says Petty Pap here, if you look here, Sable Sign. It's missing a Petty Pap. But what a lovely little setup. And then moving over, we have, he's hidden away, but this is my piece of theory, pokey theory, pokey, whatever you want to call it, Vitata confirmed male. That is confirmed male. Above him, we have suspected female, but considering the other one is male, that one's going to be female because they do look different. And on top of them, these ones all hidden, is uh, my... Um, wider recipes, also known as the Am the Amazon Sapphire Pink Toe. It was originally a Vicularia, but they changed it. It is also known as Nicole Tarantula Two, because the first one died. Moving across, we have Gramosaur Polkapi's male. He's out. He is looking very, very pretty. See, look at him. It's lovely, isn't he? He's sitting on top of Jennifer here. Can you showing off Jennifer? Look at that. Clean herself up. She had a feed today. This is also my A. Genviculata. Yeah, I'm terrible. And then, thankfully, because this, this one likes wandering about, is the Lassadoya Parahabana, a salmon pink bird eater. It likes wandering about in its enclosure. Do you like small enclosures? Many of them do. This one likes walking about, although it tends to stick to certain spaces, mainly because it's got the little bit of a lip there, so it's got a little bit of a hide. Now, if we go back on top, if I move the male that the way, oops, knocking things. You see, I've got three pots here. Let's see if we can see them on. Oh, there we go. So, first one at the top here, don't move, stay where you are, is the first OBT of the trek. He's a oops, sorry, reasonable size. There you go. I would pop the lid, but he's already bolted on me one time. He sits on top. RCF. And you can see it's dug up the sides there. But can we see? Nope, there's food in there, got buried. But he is in there. She, he, whichever. And then. Another one, which I'm not going to take the lid off for, is what they sit on, Tom. All three of these enclosures I want to redo. This one here, let's see how close I can get. Uh, I'm not. I'm using a, holding a tripod. You know what, I'm just going to take the tripod off. It's going to be so much easier without that on. Oh, ow! That hurt. We have the Kirbrakis, Crane Crutching, the Dark Earth Targa. Yeah, uh... 
forgive me if I don't show you that one directly. But yeah, we have an, we have an arsehole. Then next to them in this wonderful enclosure. I mean, yeah. Oh, before I do, love it. If anyone did this for me, I absolutely love it to bits. So, in this tangled web of mass, which is roughly about there, from what I can see, yep. Yeah, that is my juvenile green bottle blue uh, subibescence or whatever it's called. I'm terrible at these names. But yeah, and yeah, that's done a cracking job there. Once again, don't like sm large enclosures. Don't like small enclosures. Need the big one. Oh, he's got all this room here, and it's just gone. Oh, I'll have that bit. Just that bit will do. He even got like amazing hide thing there, which could have done. In. No, he wants there. No matter what you do, they're always going to pick your way. Up next, I'd like to introduce you to these four here. So first up, we have the Bamba Kabora Brazilian Redhead Mature Male called Jeff. It's a Bamba, but, you know, see if he behaves if I take the lid off. Some of these behave, some of these not so much. If the lid wants to move. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colours. I think he's actually ready to molt. So it says mature male, but I've got a feeling he's not mature, not yet. And I said his name is Jeff. I didn't name him, but I'm sticking with it. So move Jeff out of the way. Then I need to introduce Jeff you to Jeff's wife. This is a female Bamba Kawa called Dolly. It looks like a dolly. Once again, I didn't name it. My friend named them, and I just went, "Yeah, I'm keeping them." No, I don't have to do that. I said, "Yeah, I am." Let's see if Dolly's going to behave for us. If we do this, ah, oh, look at Dolly. Isn't she gorgeous? Ah, oh, looks like I've got something growing in there. I have to take care of that. Yeah, that's Dolly. Moving on to someone who is hiding. All this art right here and webbing. All down there. This is my Borneo Black. Now, forgive me, when I looked these guys up, he said, it's arboreal. So I put a nice, you know, big arboreal face in there, and it's done nothing but burrow, and they've in the bottom. So, you know, cheers, mate. Now, we've got to go on to one of my favourites. This, this person's absolutely gorgeous. My Aviculera Guata. I did a Video basically showing it off with music from a friend of mine. Uh, look at the toes. Now, Guata here is normally well behaved. So, let's take the lid off. So you can see just how gorgeous. Yeah, Victor Kawata actually is. Where's the paint take off? Oh. Look. That fuzzy, stocky, that dark backside, green legs and the pink toes. Absolutely stunning. Up now we have the uh, Grandma Store Iringi in there. What's happening if I turn the uh, flash on? Can we see? Oh, look, there we go. Oh, hey, see you in there. It's all that webbing laid out. No, it comes out quite often. It's a good feeder, so it must be being camera shy. This guy's always wandering about at night. Now this is a new part of my collection. You have seen it from previous video. It's flexing. This is my eight spinifer, which I did buy off of Sidex. And he said, yeah, that is you. It turned up not so much, and it's blown your sense. It's gave it a hide, flipped it over. Probably should increase stuff in here, but getting around to it. 
Yes. Oh, I would take the lid off, but I'm I'm not gonna lie. It scares the hell out of me. Last thing I want is a scorpion whining about. I would like to introduce you to my largest tarantula I own. Wacky Power Vagons. And she is stunning. Confirmed female. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't house her. I the size as soon as she turned up scared the hell out of me. Let's see what happens if I open this up. Never opened this up before, so making sure I can see her. Look at the colours on her. These rubs really don't do justice, but they're cheap. And let's close that off. Let's do some quick ones here. So I have the uh, Elegance Trainer and Dwarf, the Root Formigus, Rufus Jobs Tree Tiger, the Bluefoot Brune Oathy Mirror, Pink Zebra Beauty, oh, I have no idea how to pronounce that, and Bracket Elmer Steps here. I would show you them, but they like hiding. Here's a batch I got recently. Well, this one a little while ago. Oh, hand the Henzy. Been only waiting for this for this guy to molt for a while, which is there. Normally likes to be out and wander about. And we have quite possibly one of my favourite tarantulas of all time, the C. Lividum or H. Lividus, depends what you do. But this is not the cobalt blue. As you see, that it says emerald green. Let me show you this absolutely stunning beauty. Put some light on here. Whoa. Look at that. So I'll turn that light off and I'll grab a proper light. Where'd I put that light? There it is. Oh, that's... Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Now you've got to forgive me for this one. Because this is the uh, Kilimanjaro baboon. And before I decided to move, it was out in the open. But let's see what we can see. Oh, you see a toe. See a foot. See a leg. Every time I move it, the light's dying away. But it does come out. It eats well. So yeah, there's a leg. Well, here's a good sized girl. This is the uh, Kilobacchus Cambodia or Cambodian Blue. I'm not certain which one, because whenever I look it up, it said Cambodian Blue, but I don't know about you, but can you see a bit of blue there? No, I'm not so certain. But either which way, it's a kilo. It is stunning. And that concludes that pile. On to the next. First up here is actually a Christmas present that I got well, at um, Brighton, the Southern Invert Show. This is is a uh, I think it's a sub adult rather than a juvenile um, Konnichiwa Bernipes. I believe female, but I will need to check. Waiting for the malt. Better for a little bit, she hasn't molted just yet, but she is looking good. Up next, oh god, so we have the Cinecom species in the pool. Uh, as you can see, I need to change this because that's got mold in it, which is a real pain. She looks gorgeous though, I don't like the look at that though, but she's webbed up amazingly, and I'm gonna have to come along and disturb her. Damn, that's not good, I'm not happy about that. Oh, now, on to real beauty. I'll sh share a few pictures of this one. This is my uh, Semicopelma, Santa Catalina, Panama. Look at her. Those colours are outstanding. The reds and the blacks. Now, oh, really, these are sexually dimorphic. This one, obviously, it's not confirmed. Male or female. But from what I've look, looked up, I think 
Ah, showing off. I think it is female. It has recently molted, but I think the male is more black opposed to the female. So we'll see how it goes. I look. For, I do have the malt. I will go through it. Check on it. Oh, we have another beauty coming up here. So we have the uh, Dominicus Vortex East African Lesser Baboon. And look at that. I think this looks like the lesser banded baboon. Let's see if I can get a light in a good place. But gorgeous, gorgeous looking tea there. And that is the end of this pile. Move on to the next batch. Okie dokie. Up first, I will show you the Regalis Indian Ornamental Communal that I got. Let's see how many we can see. There's one, two, Oh god, I need to do something about that. Oh, there's a third one there. That makes four. There are five in here. They came out the other day. But, yep, looks like I've got some rehousing to do. So, moving across, we have the uh, Summer Palma Immonia, the Venus Wayne Sun Tiger. And she's worked herself up in that corner there. Pretty decently. And a whole nice little column there. That was the only bit of cool bark I had at that moment in time. Now, once again, we move on to one of my favourites here. So we're Cambridge Eye, the Trinidad Chevron. You may remember her from a rehousing video that I did a while back. It looks like she ha wasn't hungry. But she's webbed up amazingly. I love this girl so much. She actually was my first tongue feed. Yeah, the, it was unintentional, but I had the tongs there. Let go of the waxworm, and the waxworm held <laughs> held on. She came up. Thank you. So that was fun. Ooh. Up next, we have the uh, use of species green theme of beauty. Well, I think this actually has a new name now. This is not. This is the tub that it came in. I didn't do anything with it. Let's see. Don't run. Yeah. Apparently it's named Grace. I might stick with that. Yeah, uh, before she gets any ideas, there's no lid. Yeah, she is gorgeous. I say, she came in this. So. That's it. No. This is a secret Santa from Lucy from Luke's Lucy's Little Critters. This is another Cambridge Eye. She's done some amazing, amazing, amazing works. Oops. And there she is. Don't know what she's doing, but as long as she's happy to see her life, that's the main thing. Which she is. And we have. A lovely, lovely girl here. Nandu Kamat is brilliant, red and white. Uh, you're gonna show you the world. Are you gonna hide away? There yeah, she is. She gets a bit ratty, so I don't like taking the lid off. But sometimes she's alright, sometimes she's not. On to the next batch. For you at home, I hope you're keeping count because up now we have a ground story wingy. As you look there, didn't hide, and this is a confirmed male. This is roughly the same size as my other one. So we get a picture from the top. Look at that. I'm not sure. This one may be slightly bigger or that one's slightly bigger, but there's very little in it, maybe half a centimetre in it. Yeah. And then move him out of the way. You have my uh Calcodes, which or Calcodes as I used to call it. And bear in mind this is called Arcel. This actually has a name and the name is Arcel. Because whenever I got it, when I first got it, all it did was flick hairs, flick hairs, flick hairs, flick hairs. And it's still an arsehole. D had nice plants in here, dug it all up, it buried them, it buried its water bowl, you name it, this did it. Made high eats in the end away from, from the uh, hide I put in there. 
everything will be a pain in the ass. Yep. Got a whole bunch here. Start off with this guy just here. This is my OBT DCF. Absolutely gorgeous. Webbed up like nobody's business. It used to be over here and it's made its way along and webbed up here. There is, let's see on the screen there. Yep, I've got a pink lid for it. I was just too big. Don't care. It looks awesome. I actually got the enclosure one. I got him at um oh whatever it's called, Brighton. Then we've got this one here, where we have the uh OBT UMV hiding away. Oh, nope, it's gonna come up. You're coming out and say hello. Mm, maybe, maybe not. I'll oh, leave it be. It comes out more by the this one. I'll put it in. And then next we have the Helper Cosmia Himalaya. In a Q and A, I was asked if I will be bitten by this or something else, and I didn't know what this was. And it's buried itself away, complete and utterly. Sorry, sorry, you can't see that. And we have the Neophy Incy Gold. There she is. So it's small. Had it in Broplast, and then I found it downstairs the other day. It's like, yeah, how did you get out? And you catch it, it lost the leg. Sorry about that. Still, it's got seven more. Then we have the uh, Zomper Polka, the Panama Blonde. Let's see an absolutely amazing webbing job here. Can you see it down there? No. It's in there. Like, it's webbed up like nobody's business, so it likes hiding away. Stack these back up, and we have in here. Oh, I've recently put a lot of food in there, but oh, these also pods, loads of them, and they're breeding. These will be going into my um, oh, what's it called? Invert communal. That's gonna be fun. Now, I, now I told a fib earlier. I said my Vaggins is the largest tea I've got. I actually think it's this guy here. Oh! We have a mature male oh. polka peas. Go and say polka peas. Being mature male means I need to find him a date. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Put him down there for now. Like it's been up there, and then just about to see the back side of it. There, that, that is that is my vinegar room. Or lift a little bit, it'll disappear, you won't see it again. But there's its back side, and that's for this batch as well. Lots in the way in the corner there. That is Zed, my Damon Medius Talis Whip Scorpion. Here we go. So, we've got another batch here. So Back up her Albertsips curly hair. We need to sign for a mixing blue. Uh, yeah, mixing blue female. That makes sense. Yeah. Probably the most expensive trying to try own. And it's in there. And one I've had for a while now. Kid Pack is Black Satan. Before it molted, it was out all the time. It molted, got its black, and it hides a lot, but there it is. And we have the DD, presume blue diamond. There somewhere. We have this is a pumpkin patch. You can see right there. I'm a pelvis species Columbia Big. And move on to back here power at my Hamori. Decent sized one. And we have Brachypelma unknown. Won't know until it grows. Always useful. We've got um, Nilin the Incy. I got this guy off of um, Lucy. Then over here, we've got Gramsci Apolkra. Beautiful little tea that. One of my all-time favourites. 
up next we have the uh, fixer perma orchetti proven orange rump proven flame rump this is a very bland setup but i have challenged a friend of mine to create a new setup oh, she's going to completely design it for me and i'm going to build it oh gotta stay out stay out stay out stay out stay out yes mpl 4e also known as francis <sighs> on to second obt rcf of the day this one is significantly smaller than the other one there it is and we've got one here which uh, now it's either bowled itself down very very well or it's escaped somewhere i don't know which but this is the uh, uh summer pelmer species blue Col colombian blue bottle but i put food in food and disappears so there is that Then one fix of Helmer onto a second fix of Helmer. There it is. Now I looked these up, he said terrestrial, looked up again, said arboreal, looked up again, said terrestrial. And it was in one of these in a terrestrial setup. And it didn't seem happy. So I stuck it in this and it molted. Like two days later. I was very happy. Moves about, wanders about, hides away. Well, doesn't really hide away, just have a wander. So yeah, I think it was quite happy like that. Now, this Brachia Pelma Alviceps curly hair has a name. I don't have many teas that have names. But this one is called Fizz. What do we say we take a look, a look at Fizz? That's a little, there we go. Now Fizz is normally really well behaved. Let's check where she is. Yeah. She's down here. Uh, and there is Fizz. I think she may be in, get ready for in pre -malt, or getting in pre or in pre -malt. Yeah. There is Fizz. I didn't name her, but I wasn't going to change the name. N never particularly bothered about this species of tarantula. It's a back of Helmer. It's fine, curly hair is fine. But this girl, this girl is something special. Very, very special. Don't ask me what it is. I don't know. My friend who named her don't know. But there we go. Now this one's going to be a bit of a quick fire one because I've got a load left and I've got feeling this video is quite long already. So we have a grand star polka peas, now we're going to a polka, then we have grand star polka peas. Yeah. Care by from Viratus, the Indian violet. There she is. This is well in Sun Tiger. Another care back is from Viratus, Indian. Then we have the uh, well, yeah. Matter Pelma live them. See you live us where from cobalt blue. With that we have back Amelia, then back up Albiceps. Thanks. And we've got a little Vegans in here, which is significantly smaller. And the Holofi longer peas. Then we have the Holofi Sangra peas. Got a uh, Far leg here, uh, Boemi, uh, back of our Boemi. We have my C Mozambique 2, I've still have no idea about that. We have an E species red, little little baby there, which I got free with the uh, wagons off of uh, Inverter Ben. And we have the uh, Formiticus Oasis, given bronze. Behind that, we have two. Um, Omphia species blue quason, blue spurs and earth tiger. Slightly different sizes. We also have their male and female, but no guarantee. And we have the Orphanus philippus, 
this one along with C Mozambique and a uh, Fimbi Artist I actually got off of Inverts and Exotics which was amazing of him and we have the Davis Pentalos costume with the Tiger Rump and behind them you can see it there the uh, Ephibor Synethesis uh, Blue Fang coming down oh he bones me back in me legs oh we have the onifers species blue painy behind that we have okra around there somewhere there we go that's easy to see and we have the uh Upper Power Violetus, Singapore Blue, H Gigas, Cameron Red, P Sazmi, another OBT, and we have another Nelfi Sanguapes, Andrew Comatus, Red and White Baby, another Graham Sir Polka Peas, uh, which one's this again? Ah, this is a uh, Rakapel Amelia. Then these two here are the Haitian Brown, the um, Cancer Rides, or whatever it's called. Moving back up the top, tap species is diamond, um, Caribbean diamonds down there. Always hiding. Yeah, my Carib first Caribbean versus color, little guy there. And we have the, as you can see there, that is a Gucci ornamental, the uh, piece of theory uh, uh, Metallica. Moving along, we have the Prisa uh, Ornata. Uh, he likes hiding. And then finally, we have the Prisa Chaga Wasseli, which you can just about make out there. Ooh, oh, I think this is going to be a long video. It is what it is. Thank you so much for watching my um, collection tour. Got a little bit rusty in there, but they're smaller slings. Most of them you can't see anyway. But if you want me to uh, do a video focusing on one or a selection of my collection, then please put down in the comments. Uh, I think the only thing I didn't introduce was... Um, What's it called? Little white thing, springtails, that's one. Got springtails pot them, but I didn't think you want to see them. But it is what it is. Oh, can it's your leg. Pain in the backside that. Actually a pain in the leg. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Long day. I've got to edit this video and upload it. Because by my watch it's quarter to twelve on Sunday. So Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Share this video with people. Like you know people who like tarantulas the one of like, oh, I wonder what tarantulas other people have. Well here you go. This is everything. For now. I may have more coming. Anyway. Anyone who is going to the South East Arachna Show in Ashford sees, I will see you there. I'm going to be turning up with uh, Mr. River Spider. If you don't know who he is, go check him out there. But I'm hoping to catch some people there. Um, I know Sticker Mix is going to be there. Inverted Ben's going to be there, which is going to be amazing. I love seeing those guys. Absolutely wonderful. Um... There's probably other people there that I know, but they're the only two I can think of right now. If you're going, give us a shout, say hello. Um, Ian Trancher, are you going, mate? Oh, I think so. I think you said you were going. I can't remember. I'm terrible on these things. My hair's falling over the place. Yeah. So, <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Once again, if you'd like to see anything of my tees close up, Please let me know. You, I've got to do some rehousing, as you saw today, so I'm going to be sorting that out over the next couple of days. Get that sorted. It'll be all good. 
but for now this has been cousin Phil Ferret the man with the spider leg hair saying thank you very much for watching sign off bye bye